Hi, this is a reading with me. I hope you are doing well. If not, I really hope I can help you. And this is for all star signs. If you are here, hello and welcome. I feel like it is a sign in itself that there are messages for you. And I'm going to have a look and see what is coming through for you. And also just wanted to mention that if you ever wanted to purchase any personal services, readings, items, rituals, anything at all, it is always linked on shopmoonlightguidance.com and linked down below. All right, so we are going to take a look and see what is coming through. All right, so first and foremost, I feel like there is quite a stagnant energy there's not a lot really happening the hermit definitely shows that things are very very quiet so the hermit really um signifies that energy and the hermit energy is sort of like crickets you know not a lot really going on not a lot really happening um there's definitely an energy here of things being very very quiet um and not really a lot taking place so there's quite a sort of like um you, you can sometimes feel a little bit lonely, um, you can feel isolated and I feel here as well that it's also to do with a person here that perhaps you were talking to quite a lot or you were talking to quite regularly or from time to time and there was some form of pattern to it and now that pattern seems to be disappearing or it has completely dis disappeared and disintegrated and because this pattern is kind of just going, going gone, I really feel here that it just further accentuates the fact that it's just you, you know, it's it's just you, you got your own energy, it's you, you and you. Um, and that is, you know, it's okay, but you definitely are wondering what you should be doing. Should you be communicating a lot more? Should you be making your intentions more well known? Should you be telling them your feelings? Should you be doing more? Should you be the one pursuing things or um, suggesting meetings and things like that? You're literally thinking to yourself, what do I do? What do I do to make things happen? Why are things going backwards? And you know, it, it is quite upsetting because you feel like you're losing control of something that you feel like you've had. And it's quite stressful, it's quite overwhelming. Um, it is quite upsetting as well because you just don't know where you stand in the situation and you don't know what more you can be doing. And if there is anything more that you could be doing in regards to this, because it is quite overwhelming in that sense, especially with the page of pentacles, you just feel very lost. Um, and page of pentacles here shows as well, you just feel like you need an answer, okay? So that's why I'm here. I'm going to give you some answers as to potentially what you could be doing, can be doing, should be doing, um, and perhaps what's going on overall. Um, I really feel here as well, um, we need to look into this person as to why they are doing this, okay? But we do have a little spread here that I just wanna quickly talk about before that. So the ace of wands first and foremost does show um, that they um, really um, actually, are quite uh, busy with a lot of things specifically to do with work okay two of pentacles shows they've got a lot of things going on they're being pulled in so many different directions friends family members people constantly needing their time needing their energy um, it seems to be a period of time right now where everybody just wants them and then three of pentacles really shows that here as well they've just got a lot going on in the work environment some of them might also be renovate, renovating certain spaces so they have to constantly be present for that and it's like stressful because you know they're trying to figure out uh, different things with renovations and it's it's just a lot it's a headache um, but uh, there is a positive outcome uh, at the end of this so that's what we have here with the sun and the queen of pentacles okay um, what i specifically want to look into here is uh why are they doing this? You cannot make this up. Oh wow, look, is that, that's such a close match in terms of the shade. Um, anyways, so um, the Eight of uh, Cups really does uh, resemble here a very, very, very powerful energy, which is to do with the fact that this particular card, okay, is um, really showing that uh, they are withdrawing on purpose. Okay, they're, they're doing this on purpose. And uh, yes, they are busy with uh, certain things, but I don't feel like that's the only reason. Why else are they withdrawing? Ace of Swords. They want you to communicate more. They want you to chase them. That's what they want. But I need to know what's gonna happen if you chase them, because the thing is, right, 
they may want that as validation but the thing is um just because you chase a person doesn't mean they're always going to do things in return in fact that can actually then put you in a cycle where you are always chasing them and they don't really have to do anything and that you will always be there and wrapped around their fingers so we have to be very very careful okay um we need to have a look into why why do they want you to chase them well it's it's because of what I said, okay? They want to reverse the cycle, which means that they don't want to be the ones pursuing all the time and doing things. They want you to be the one chasing them so that they perhaps don't have to do as much, okay? We've got the five of wands here. Um, when they are chasing and pursuing you, it's, it's really overwhelming for them from what I see here. So they want to be, they want you to be the one chasing them. They literally want that, right? So got the page of wands. We've got the king of wands here as well. They would rather that you were chasing, you were running, you were going after them. That's what they actually want, which is, you know, fine and everything, but also a bit crazy when you think about it. But they're going to come to you because, you know, the queen of pentacles here shows they're not really going to end up going anywhere. And also the sun here shows they will come to you. So I feel here like they are pulling away because they want you to chase after them, but you're not going to chase after them, okay? Because actually what I see is that if you start chasing after them and you start proposing meetings and doing things, they will feel like you will always do it. And that then makes them a bit lazy. You don't want that, okay? Because then you will literally always be questioning yourself and you will always be wondering where you stand and you will get emotionally very overwhelmed. The thing here is that let them withdraw, okay? Let them, let them withdraw let there be space and time between you both. Actually, that's quite healthy because space, absence and distance makes the heart grow fonder. They will realize what they are missing out on in regards to you and that is going to trigger them to come towards you harder. To actually have this fear like, oh my God, you're not actually chasing and you're not running because they have this in their mind that you will always chase and run after them and that, you know, because you're that obsessed with them. And let's be honest, uh, that's a bit embarrassing, right? Like that, That's not something you really want, I guess. You don't want them to feel, you don't want to always be that person. You know, like it, it's nice to be chased and pursued. Um, so moral of the story here, uh, from what I am seeing, is that uh, they will come back to you because they will have the fear that you're giving up. And that is something that they will never think, okay? Because I do feel that on your side, you don't want to give up, right? You don't want to move forward. But if you give things space and time and you focus on your goals and you focus on yourself and you detach and just put yourself first and detachment means pulling more energy towards yourself, that triggers them to feel a loss of your energy. And it also triggers them to have this fear that actually you're going away, you know, and that you're not actually having this and you've got other things in your life and that will make them feel like, oh no, oh no, my plan's not working. Better come back around, better try and do things better try and communicate with you, better try and be there and be fair and be square. And that triggers them to do so much more towards you, especially with the queen of swords. Okay. Like have healthy boundaries, put yourself first, do you, you don't want to be a doormat, right? And, uh, for sure you want to be pursued because that's what you want. So yeah, they'll start to get scared that their plan of withdrawing and pulling away and being uninterested is not working anymore. And that will actually trigger them to come forward towards you, okay? And they will then start to talk to you, make much more of a move towards you. They will be proactive towards you. They will be like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm doing this, you know? And that will trigger them to do much more. And that will give you more clarity for where you stand as well. Um, because at the end of the day, I'm pretty sure you want clarity for where you stand. Um, and that's obviously very important. So that is what we have there. Interesting, isn't it? Very interesting. So we also have, it's fallen on the floor, two cards. Okay, so we've got here the eight of swords. Um, so yeah, they're going to realize actually that actually they feel very alone because their plan hasn't really worked out too well, has it? Um, and that will make them feel quite sad and quite bad. Um, but also at the same time, what's really interesting here is that you've got the king of cups and the two of wands and they'll start to realize that there's not really much coming from your side. 
and uh, they will actually then start to become quite responsive and proactive in terms of communication but also trying to um, sort of show you like this is where we stand this is what's going on this is what's going to happen um, and things like that so basically they're pulling back to see whether you would chase after them and you would run after them and you would do certain things you're obviously not going to do that because we all know that that's going to end up in you being walked all over and they will just sort of take advantage of that so instead you pulling back your energy you focusing on yourself actually makes them have this fear that actually you're giving up and you're moving forward which to a degree that's quite healthy for you to do to have those strong healthy boundaries and that actually triggers them to come to you properly now, at the end of the day you want a person to come to you properly not to take advantage of you in such a way you know what i mean um so the thing that i really want to mention i'm going to get some message cards out as well is that if you find it really hard to focus on yourself and to detach and pull that energy back towards yourself i really do recommend um, any of the rituals actually on my website they all work with detachment and healing which naturally allows your intention to come through there is a specific detachment ritual but there's also a manifest your specific person ritual ritual to break no contact rituals for them to express their feelings to you a ritual for marriage career healing black magic removal protection ritual there's a ritual for home, business, uh, justice, beauty. There's also rituals for intention items as well. Sorry, not rituals for intention. There's also intention items as well, which are on my website. Um, thousands of five-star reviews at the bottom of the website. There's bracelets, candles, sage bundles, teas, embroidered cards, which you can put under your pillow. And there's also personal tarot readings as well with me to answer specific questions you may have. So... Everything is always on my website, shopmoonlightguidance.com and linked down below for your convenience. So definitely check it out if you are interested. Okay, so what we have here, let's see. Message cards. <laughs> Look at this, right? You you had the Page of Cups and the King of Cups here, okay, with these energies, but look at this, okay? It says here, I am more emotional than I show, okay? Yes, they are. They are a lot more emotional than what they showcase to you, what they show. Um, right now, they can showcase a little bit of uninterest and they can kind of be like, well, I'm doing this and this and this. They are a lot more emotional deep down. They just don't show that side to everybody. Um, this also says here as well, let's take it slowly, please. So they don't want to rush things right now um but of course they want you to chase them and uh the affirmation for your reading if this resonates with you so far is i will not chase them so comment that down below especially if this reading resonates with you or if you like it or claim it because i do not believe in any way shape or form that you should be chasing after this person i feel actually it's the last thing the last thing that should be happening is you chasing okay very very important for me to mention so uh, we got here, I'm sorry for blocking you, I was triggered. So you may have been blocked by this person or they've been putting in roadblocks, right? What are the roadblocks? Them wanting you to chase after them, okay? They could have quite literally blocked you or kind of pushed you away. Um, they will be sorry about this and they will say that they were triggered. You know, they wanted that validation. Their ego wanted some form of validation um, for that. We have here, can you accept me as I am? It's a very important question to ask yourself as well, is can you accept this person as they are right now, right? Because we all know that the key to the law of attraction is always um, detachment, acceptance, healing. That's about being so present in the current moments that actually then allows your manifestations to happen, right? Because detachment and the law of attraction basically means knowing what you want but being okay without it, which means accepting your present moment. So can you accept this person right now for who they are? Um, and if you can't, then it's important that you detach and you put yourself first and you look after yourself. We have here, I have a lot of sexual thoughts about you. So they do have definitely physically intimate thoughts about you. Um, they feel very, very attracted towards you. In fact, these are sacral chakra energies, okay? Orange represents the sacral chakra, which is to do with intimacy and that area. Um, and they feel definitely very connected to you on that level. And they do feel that you are very, very attractive and that you have, you know, a lot of really great energy to yourself. My higher, my higher self is trying to reach you, okay, so this is crown chakra energy, interesting, right, higher self, they definitely do feel very attracted towards you, but I feel like they're going about things in the wrong way, and you actually pulling back your energy towards yourself and putting yourself first allows them to manifest and actually come towards you in the correct way, okay, the correct way where you are building on things in a healthy way, where they chase you, pursue you, um, make things work with you, they validate um, but also give you like communication, you know, in a healthy way rather than sort of like doing it in an unhealthy way, if that makes sense. 
in a way that confuses you. So this is your reading, and if this resonates with you, don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to comment down below. Also, I have TikTok and Instagram if anyone wants to follow me on there, feel free to do so. I post short readings on there every single day. Um, yeah, moonlight.guidance on Instagram, moonlight guidance on TikTok. Feel free to follow me on there if you want to, and I'll see you all very soon.